Saad ibn Mu'az radiyallahu ta'ala anhu, 37 years of age, he accepted Islam, one of the leaders of Khazraj. 31 years of age, he accepted Islam. Died at the age of 37 years. Got injured in the battle of Khandakh, in the battle of Trench. Severe injuries on his hand, continuous bleeding. They knew he is not going to survive. The people of Banu Khuraida, who had betrayed Prophet Sallallahu and the Muslims, when the enemies came and surrounded Medina, they from inside, enemies within, enemies outside, and they betrayed from inside Prophet Sallallahu And when the battle was over, when the enemies ran away, Rasulullah Sallallahu asked, had to decide what needs to be done about these people, Banu Khuraida. They said, Saad ibn Mu'az, we want Saad ibn Mu'az to judge. We don't want you to judge. They didn't tell Prophet Sallallahu to judge because he was one of their leaders and they thought he would judge in their favor. Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam agreed. The leaders of Banu Khurayda and all the people came, the companions came, Rasulullah Sallallahu is standing, Saad ibn Ma'az, hurting, hand bleeding. Rasulullah says, you judge, O Saad ibn Ma'az. Then Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi says, Umu ila Sayyidikum, stand all of you, rise in front of your judge, subhanAllah. These things are still being fallen in America and the entire world of what Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi start to respect for the judges. Umu ila Sayyidikum, stand up and rise. Saad ibn Ma'az says, O Prophet of Allah, he asked Banu Khurayda first, listen, you have appointed me as judge, as arbitrator. Will you accept the decision I make? They said, of course. Then SubhanAllah, he looks at, he doesn't even look at Prophet Sallallahu because the respect and the awe they had for Rasul Sallallahu He looks down, he doesn't even show his hand. Ya Rasulullah, would you be accepting my judgment? Prophet Sallallahu said, yes, I do. Read the biography of Saad ibn Mahaz respectively. So we don't have the time to go through the decision he made. Rasulullah Sallallahu says, Oh, Sahab, the decision you made after the decision you made, Allah Azawajal had made the same decision sitting on his throne. When he died, Allah subhanAllah, I don't have time, respected listeners. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam was digging his grave and he was smelling the fragrance coming out of his grave. It's written in the books of Sirah. Every woman and child and adult in Medina smelled the fragrance coming from the grave of Sa'ad ibn Muhammad. إِحْتَيْسَ الْعَرْشِ لِمَوْتِ سَعَادِ بْنِ مَعَازِ Hadith of Imam Bukhari, rahmatullahi The arsh of Allah shook with happiness when the soul of Sa'ad ibn Ma'az came to Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala.